Hi everyone, are you ready for another summer sweet wine? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Oh, it means so much to me to have you guys stop in, spend a few minutes of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red, red subscribe button. I'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Today we are doing another wine diary. I know. So we've got another summer wine. This is actually one I purchased four bottles of wine from the Stonehouse Winery in Tennessee in September 2021. I'm finally getting around to drinking my last bottle. I forgot what the other flavors were. I know I had a red muscatine. I had an orange squeeze. I forgot what the other one was. And I got a regular muscatine. So again, this is Stonehouse Winery. It is in crossroads tennessee and i have looked uh, just like the last one i have looked all over the bottle i've been on the website i cannot find what proof it is but i know it's good i know there's some alcohol content in here so just whatever it is i know it's not high but just remember everyone has to kind of drink responsibly and don't drink and drive things like that if you know you shouldn't drink then you shouldn't drink and if you can just drink it in moderation time to enjoy it right so i am having got my dinner already so let me take off my dipping sauce so i don't spill it but tonight i have got some budweiser yes budweiser beer beer batted shrimp so i put them in the air fryer and you probably can't see it, but I've got a salad on the side with a little bit of balsamic dressing. The dipping sauce that came with the shrimp is that it just says it's a citrus dipping sauce. So I thought it sounded good. I'm going to have it with my muscatine from Stonehouse. And again, I got this back in September 2021. I'll have their web website below. It is the sweet wines. And then so I went on the website. It's still the same price that I paid back in 2021. So it's still $15. Some of their wines, like, and I would really like to try them. I just don't know if I want to spend $25 on it plus shipping. They have some Aaron Tippin wines that he has his name um, onto, like a blueberry and a cherry wine. But they sound really good. So I might... I might break down and get them at some point. I don't know. They've got some, of course, the sweet wines that I've tried before. They've also got like a Chardonnay, which I've discovered I like, like that buttery kind of creamy texture of a Chardonnay. They've got like some Pinot Noirs and things like that. Those ones go up to like $30, $40. But the sweet wines, they're all right around $15. They also have a great assortment of homemade fudge. The fudge looks phenomenal. I don't know. I, I said that wrong. I know it, but I don't care. It looks really good. I don't know if they shipped the fudge out of state. <sighs> so anyway, it took me so long to drink these and I didn't think I was going to be getting any more. But if anyone goes to the website, I'll leave their information down below. You do get different discounts. Um, say if you buy three bottles of wine, you get a 5% discount. You buy six bottles, you get an 8% discount. If you buy like a case of 12, you get like a 12% discount. So it kind of makes it fun. Uh, maybe that discount maybe helps offset some of the shipping costs. I don't know. But anyway, it's been a lot of fun trying these and looking forward to trying this one. And I have looked all over the label with my magnifying glass. I've been on the website and just like the last time I had the red muscatine, I cannot find the alcohol content unless it's just kind of mixed in and I'm just not looking for it. I have no idea what it is. I just know that there's some kind of alcohol in here because otherwise they wouldn't have the government warnings on it, right? So again, muscatine. So it's a sweet wine and the muscatine is kind of like it's a southern kind of wine. And the muscatine, it's a grape variety, a varietal. 
that's only done like in the southern part of the United States and it's uh, just kind of like a nostalgic drink from people that are from the deep south maybe or whatever that just kind of like that sweet wine of course there's others that like like that spicy hot stuff too but so it's kind of like a nostalgic wine and just uh, heritage of like the southern United States and just it's just it's it's fun to try these different things so anyway and yes I went to work one day last week I went to the grocery store I've got another cold I don't get it I just cannot shake it every time I go out of the house within two days later I've got another cold um, the only thing I really smell is like a grape juice just to kind of like a little alcohol but but sweet like grape juice Mm. it is sweet it's nice it's got a nice body to it it's full but it's still it's light flavor but it's a sweet flavor so if you like sweet wines I think you are going to like this kind of wine if you like the dry wines you are probably not going to like it but if you like going back and forth like I do I think it's a fun wine and of course I'm wearing pink so I have got my vino glass here life happens wine helps and i have no idea why i am drawn to these halter dresses i've never worn halter dresses in my life and i'm just drawn to these rockabilly kind of hillbilly type dresses from amazon so this one it's got little black accents with satin buttons down the front pink pink and white polka dots it's got this full dress here so I've got my petticoat underneath and we got this little tie that I don't know how to do so it doesn't stay tight but it's a little satin tie and it's just fun these are just fun I have no idea what I'm going to do with these all I think uh yeah but I'm enjoying doing them I'm enjoying doing wine diaries with you guys and having you guys stop in and spend a little bit of time with me like I said you guys are awesome and you mean so much to me so again what did it say about this i did write down a few things and i probably talked over it okay so this grape the muscatine grape it's an american variety it's a native to the southern part of the united states it carries a beloved nostalgia and a strong sense of place for anyone born in these parts its flavor is intense and unforgettable it's been a customer favorite from the beginning so again this is from stonehouse winery they're in crossroads tennessee they do ship to a lot of states i have no idea why some states do not like people shipping to them it just doesn't seem right i mean they have liquor stores and they have wine and liquor at, at restaurants so why can't they ship to individual people i don't know it boggles the mind but anyway this is really good i am going to have a little bit of wine I'm going to have my dinner and then I'm going to sit for a while and just kind of relax for the night. So I hope everyone goes out and has a great weekend. If you act accidentally go on that website, then want to link below Stonehouse Winery and you see any wines that look really interesting and you say, yeah, but I don't want to try it because I don't know if I'm going to like it. Let me know and I will try it for you because that's the kind of person I am. Yeah. So anyway, I want to thank you guys again so much for stopping in spending some time with me it really does mean a lot to me i hope you go out and have a great weekend take care everyone stay safe it's still crazy out there like i said i can't go out of the house without getting sick i'm sure there's other people that are in my boat so just take care be safe everyone be kind enjoy life have some fun it's too short not to have fun love you guys so much See you in the next video. Bye-bye.